Hello and welcome everyone to another demonstration video. So today we'll be looking at some of the ADMET property tools. So what are the ADMET property tools? Basically, when you are going for computer aided drug designing and discovery and likewise, so initially you have to prepare a ligand library. Okay, followed by that you have to do some virtual screening. So why the name comes virtual screening as we are doing it virtually, not physically, that is why virtual screening and screening is basically a method of filtering so what we are filtering out of the uh, out of the all the ligands that we have in the library based on that we'll be filtering so initially we have some lead compounds okay so based on some of the properties that we have selected now we want to filter them according to some of the properties like your drug likeness or druggability followed by your ADMAT. Okay, so druggability is basically to know that that particular thing can be a drug, yes or no. Okay, so that is your druggability or drug likeness. So there are several parameters to that, like your Lipinski's rule is there, then your Pfizer rule is there. Okay, so if you want to dive deep into every aspect of it, the every step of drug discovery, so you should ideally join our course. Okay, but today I will give you an overview of how to do the ADMAT property test out of uh, your two type of virtual screening uh, most widely used. So druggability as well as ADMAT property test, both of them you can do utilizing some of the tools. So I will demonstrate two of the top tools that are mostly in use. Okay, so let's get started with it. Okay, so firstly, we'll be moving on with our first tool for today. So that is your AD. ADMET Lab 3.0. Okay, so that is a ADMET Lab 3.0. Here it is. Okay, so before getting on to the ADMET Lab 3.0, okay, we have several other videos. You can check out those of how to search for the chemical compounds. So once you have the chemical compound, okay, so you'll be having the formula of the chemical compound in the form of your IUPAC and your smiles and likewise. In this case, we mostly be requiring the smiles. Okay. So before getting on to the ADMET, so we have to get to the ADMET evaluation. Okay. So here it is asking for smiles. Okay. So let's take an example and extract some smiles. Okay. So for that, you can utilize any of the tools. Okay. From uh, for your chemical search. So I will prefer PubChem. Okay. So in PubChem, I'm going to PubChem and so we'll be taking the same example uh, to uh, for both of the tools so as to see that how how it is actually happening. Okay, so let's take any of the compounds you can take, any of the examples also you can take, any drug molecule or any phytochemical molecule also you can search for. Okay, so let's uh, uh, search for a, a phytochemical molecule that is your like with Hanolite maybe okay yeah with Hanolite A okay it is from Withenia somnifera okay so here is the here is the compound these are the synonyms okay so I have also uh, like we have also a video regarding this particular chemical search you can also search for that called top five uh, tools for uh, your chemoinformatics okay so here it is the structure is here okay so you can uh, like uh, look about the structure but here we don't need the structure basically we need the smile formula okay simple thing it is just go to the smiles copy it okay simple copy it and paste it over here okay very simple so once we paste this one uh, over here so we can submit it okay so once you submit it, here you have the all kind of information that is required. Okay, regarding that particular chemical, only providing the smiles. Once you provide the smiles, you have the structural information, then your uh, physiochemical property information is over here. Okay, so then medical chemistry, here you have all the rules, uh, the drug likeness tools, rules, uh, pardon, that I was uh, referring to, like your Lipinski's rule, Lipinski's rule of five, although there are four parameters nowadays. Okay, then you have Pfizer rule, GSK rule, golden triangle is there, PNC is also there. Okay, so there are multiple tools, okay, uh, uh, to analyze that. So, th like this particular ADMAT 3.0 can be utilized to 
look for any of the rule okay so be it your drug ability or drug likeness parameters you are checking so that you can check from over here and then starts your ADMT properties that is your absorption so these are the sub parameter based on which you will be identifying that that particular compound is having a good absorption or not okay then it is having a good distribution or not good metabolism or not okay excretion and toxicity and likewise okay so you can click on the uh, like uh, you can just point your cursor to the eye so it will show that what is the optimum level okay what should it be ideally okay and how it is violating okay if you want to dive deep into what are the actual parameters so that i will also show you here you can see in the tox uh, toxicity you have so many parameters daily that is drug induced liver injury okay how that particular compound can cause uh, uh, like drug injury okay so um, basically induce uh, like liver injury it can cause then you have ME's toxicity is there okay skin sensitization then it, that particular compound is carcinogenic or not okay respiratory toxicity then your hematotoxicity is there okay hepatotoxicity is there hematotoxicity blood related toxicity okay cytotoxicity is there okay then you have cell line based cytotoxicity checks as well okay so you can uh, look into the details of this okay so you can also download it in the form of a csv if you need the whole information and then copy it wherever you require so you can go to help and go to end point explanation okay so once you go to end point explanation it will give you uh, like the explanation of all the parameters that are there okay as well as it will also list you the optimum condition it should uh, it should be having or what is the idle condition or idle parameter or the cutoff or threshold whatever you want to call it all of the things that you can uh, like observe from here okay so for drug likeness or drug uh, drug ability or drug likeness property those are listed over here and for the ADMAT you can check over here so here you in the absorption you have CACO2 permeability what is it okay uh, how to do the result interpretation okay so after doing the result interpretation what uh, what will be your empirical decision based on what they have uh, like uh, annot annotated it using your red color or green color uh, like based on what so uh, all all kind of those knowledge you will be getting from here okay so every time uh, with the advent of a new newer version of this particular application you will be getting some new parameters as well or in the already existing parameter they might have updated some of the parts of it so it will be showing as new or updated okay so here you can see new parameters are been added so that uh, those are highlighted with new labels okay so of course this particular tool uh, like you can utilize for doing both of this but there is an alternative to this also so in bioinformatics we mostly have alternatives for all kind of tools okay so it is not that which one is better which one is best it depends upon the user's preference okay so but uh, both of them are very good quality tools so first we have discussed about ADMT lab 3.0 the next one is from your like swiss bio uh, thing so that is called your swiss ADME okay swiss ADME in both of them you can also uh, like uh, copy paste the structure also it is not that only smile will work here you can see you can like uh, design your structure as well if you don't have the structure based on the smile you can design the structure and post that you can do the ADMT analysis also okay so as we already have the smile with us so we'll paste the same okay so once we paste the same then we will hit on the run okay so once we hit on the run so it will uh, so it is extracting data so here you can see it is loading okay so yeah so here it is okay so yeah yeah now here you can see it will also give you the same data basically so uh, so it depends that uh, it depends upon the user w uh, which particular format he or she likes okay so you can also download the data in csv format over here also you have the formula the regular information of that particular chemical molecule obviously the your uh, this structure and all is there okay so then you have um, lipophilicity uh, scores then obviously based on this uh, hydrogen bond donor acceptor based on this you can and do the drug likeness uh, analysis as well as you also have the drug likeness parameters over here like your 
ಲೈಕ್ ಲಿಪಿನ್ಸ್ಕಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಏಗನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ದನ್ ಪೇನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಎಮ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಜಿ ಐ ಎಬ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ವಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ಬಿಟ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ so uh, so that is it uh, then if you want to show in it in basically there is something called as your boiled egg model so you can study about it what is it okay so boiled egg model option it will also show you okay so likewise we can like uh, do multiple things in it okay so so yeah so based on this so you can see uh, what more things we can do over here okay so we are doing the swiss ADME parameter because swiss bio has multiple things to analyze basically so here also you can uh, instead uh, what we utilize there as a help now so here also you can point your cursor towards this particular question mark so it will explain you what this particular parameter is all about as well as if you want to go into the uh, searching for its paper the reference is also given here you can see okay so the reference and everything is given over here okay so that is all for today's demonstration okay hope you like the demonstration and hopefully you will also practice it okay so if you have any questions uh, comment down below and if you like the demonstration please consider hitting a like okay and comment down below what you want next as a demonstration that is all thank you everyone